Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our first reading, uh, the reading for All Saints Day, which is today. And that reading is Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, clothed in white robes, and from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd. He will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. You know, this passage of scripture is a beautiful one as I think about those who've gone before me in the faith. As I hear the words, the opening words is in verse 9, that behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation from all tribes and peoples and languages standing before the throne and before the lamb clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice salvation belongs to our god who sits on the throne and to the lamb i have a picture in my mind a picture of my parents, my grandparents, so many aunts and uncles, cousins, friends, neighbors, members of congregations I've served, people whose funerals I performed, people who knew the Lord, and loved the Lord, who served the Lord, people who cared deeply about their faith, people who faced trying and painful and difficult circumstances. And that's exactly this group of people, plus those who have yet to go to be with the Lord, those who are still here on the earth, and those who we uh, will meet there when the time comes. Those, some, who are yet to be born. And as I, I think of this grand multitude and being able to stand before the throne of God and being able to face our, our Lord and Savior and having the, the joyful opportunity to sing his praise in his presence, to shout those words, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And then to see the myriad of angels in verse 11 and all the angels were standing around the throne around the elders and the four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped god saying amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our god forever and ever amen all the people of all places all over the world who've ever lived, surrounded by all the angels, all praising God with loud voices, and then that elder's voice, speaking to John, who are these clothed in white robes, and from where have they come? And the answer 
comes back to John. These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The great tribulation. The great tribulation is living life on this earth. Living life and being attacked by sin, by death, by the power of the devil on a regular daily basis. Being attacked in many and various ways and suffering through those ways. And each and every one of us has our own form of tribulation. And every tribulation is painful, either physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Painful as we walk through it. Painful as we let go of loved ones. Painful as we suffer ourselves. Painful. And all of that will be behind us. And as it's behind us, it's behind us because of what Jesus did for us. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The gracious, merciful, forgiving power of the blood of Jesus Christ shed from the cross cleanses us from every spot, every stain, every sin. And it gives us that certainty, the joy of salvation. And that's why the crowd can shout, the multitude can say, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And they do this with great joy and great enthusiasm because now they feel not only its power, but its peace. The peace that they receive being out of the tribulation and being in the presence of Christ, in the joys of paradise, in all that he has prepared for us as he promised. And then the angel continues, therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The tears of sadness, the tears of loss, the tears of grief, the tears of pain, the tears of of remorse, the tears of repentance, the tears of anxiety, frustration, the tears of guilt and shame. All these are wiped away, wiped away by God himself, wiped away and replaced with peace, with comfort and with everlasting joy because they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That is our hope, that is our peace, and that is the strength that we have to face the tribulation with the certainty of hope, knowing where we're headed in Christ. In his name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask, Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we might have this vision in our hearts and vision in our minds as we walk through this great tribulation. As we walk through it, we, we face it at different times with different emotions, with different trials and different pains and sufferings and hardships. But you set us free from all of that. Your suffering, death, your resurrection salvation belongs to you and you give it to us as a gift we ask that you would help and remind us that as we are in the midst of our tribulation we would not lose hope but we would look beyond our current circumstance looking to you and what you have promised and you have prepared and that our hope in you may ever remain strong trusting in what you have already provided 
and what you will provide wiping away of our tears and eternal comfort and peace in your presence in your name we pray amen have a blessed tuesday we will see you tomorrow on wednesday for tomorrow's devotion and may the lord bless your heart your mind and your soul today <music>